science bites. Reports of bed bug infestations in the United States are on the rise. They've been found in some of the biggest cities and most luxurious hotels in the country. Are we experiencing an epidemic? Or is it just a sensational news story? In today's Science Bite, museum scientist Frank Krell discusses why outbreaks might be increasing and what people can do to protect themselves against these biting bugs. So what are bed bugs anyway? Bed bugs are insects. They are true bugs with sucking mouth parts, a family of about 75 species, but only one of them, the common bed bug, Simex lectularius, causes problems to humans in the United States. How do you know that you have bed bugs? You probably first notice the bite. They bite you, they suck your blood, and they cause a very special bite mark. A red round circle with a little prick mark in the middle. These bite marks normally disappear within a couple of days, but cause a severe skin reaction in some people. Bed bugs avoid light. They hide in dark places. You find them under loose wallpaper, under pictures, in hollow walls, and of course in your bedding. So if you suspect having bed bugs, that's the places where you should look. So is it an epidemic or is it just news sensations? It is an epidemic. Between World War II and the 1990s, bed bugs were relatively rare in the United States. But over the last two decades, outbreaks have increased by several magnitudes. So why now? Ever more people live in high density environments. The urban population grows all over the planet. In dense areas like hotels or apartments, bed bugs can easily travel between adjacent units through hollow walls or ventilation systems, whatever connects those units. Also, our chemical control is not as effective as it used to be. We have outlawed the use of several pesticides like carbamates, organophosphates or DDT. And that's not altogether bad because those pesticides were dangerous to humans too. If you suspect to have bed bugs, you should call a qualified exterminator. If the exterminator finds bed bugs in your home, he will likely recommend an integrated pest management strategy, which might include disposal of heavily infested furniture, applying chemicals, or heat treatment. Despite the increase of bed bug infestations, the good news is that they don't transmit diseases. As far as we know, the largest medical problem is that bed bug bites can cause severe skin reactions. For today, our best prevention is to keep the house clean and to watch out for bites of any sort. But scientists are working on new control measures, such as chemical attractants and other techniques, to battle this epidemic. DMNS, 